Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel, where life is for the taking. It is the host himself, TED Talk Money. Today, my people, I want to give you guys a Hedera update. As you guys know, we've been really sharing a little bit more about the ecosystem that's really been growing with Hedera. But if you're really new to this channel, understanding who TED Talk Money is, we've been looking at this asset from the very beginning. And at the end of this video, you will be even more convinced to start another bigger bag of HBAR. Today, my people, we're going to be focusing on the newest, latest, and greatest that happened with Hedera. They recently joined up with the EU. Okay, they recently joined up with the European Parliament. So we're going to be covering that. Of course, we're going to be making sure that you guys know where, of course, to store this Hedera. But, but overall, like in our last update, we were letting you guys know, of course, that we've been really keeping this thing on our heels really when it comes down to watching Hedera and what it's going to do. First, I want to show you all this right here. Charles Adkins, he's the president over Hedera, basically was retweeting Charles Hoskins. He's the, you know, the maker over there uh, for Cardano. And he was saying Cardano, the Charles Hoskins was saying that moment when you realize that the ecosystem that focuses on governance will be around for a very long time. And yes, they're talking about Hedera right there. Thank you for your support. What they're really talking about here is this, guys. You know, if you ever watched any of our Hedera videos, we call the governance council Voltron, right? Because once you actually have all of these governance entities coming together to actually create for ourselves, I mean, an actual complete cohesion for Hedera. They say that Hedera 2.0 is going to be created. So I'm really looking forward to that and seeing what's actually going to happen. If you're kind of new to this, I doubt it. But if you actually already hold HBAR, you already understand that the governance Council includes Google, T-Mobile, DLA Piper, LG, Hitachi, Tata, Ubisoft. Guys, they're, they're covering everything. They are covering everything. So, of course, you guys can see why they have a $3.6 billion market cap, but that is pennies compared to where this thing is going. Uh, you can see here that HBAR Foundation had put out a little bit of a ecosystem uh, update. I want to give you guys a little bit things out of that. Uh, check out Bonzo Finance. They've actually just included a lending, uh, of course, for a little bit of a DeFi expansion. And of course, what we're going to be focusing on is Hedera joining the UK CBC. But before we get into that, guys, there is another coin that is, I mean, blowing up on another network called Polygon. I mean, of course, you're an HBAR holder, but we focus on really, you know, utility cryptos and ISO cryptos. And this coin has been, I mean, blowing up. It recently just hit a all time high over on the Matic network. But this coin is actually bridged on Matic and the XRPL. So if you, of course, hold XRP yourself, you really want to listen. But of course, if you just hold Hedera, check this out. So they recently put it out saying that they have a community driven development team recently hit record breaking levels on both XRPL and Polygon. So this milestone is, of course, just the beginning of the journey towards widespread adoption. You guys can see 2Bit Crypto put it out that there was a new all time high of course for ctf and that is a fact for the people that have really been watching us you guys can see that this thing is up 88 percent on the day 88 percent, folks we were telling you guys about this when only 500 people were holding it well now it's up to 1.8 thousand people so this is over on the matic network guys seriously again if you're new to this channel we're always finding these gems we want everybody to be able to have opportunity because that's the name of this channel life is for the taking you guys can see this was able to hit about a dollar 40 today a dollar 39 and you guys can see it's at a dollar five again guys this is a community driven focused coin but you can see here that it's bridged over on the xrpl so when we're equating it to xrp you guys can see it is a lower price but still it's ranked very high very high over on the XRPL. So I'm going to leave you guys a link in this video description so you guys can really get linked on Sushi Swap. Obviously, there's a little bit more liquidity going on over on the Matic network. If you're not familiar with how DEXs work, basically you connect with, you connect your wallet. You might know about MetaMask or something like that. Then you go ahead and connect over to, of course, the Polygon network. Again, I'll leave you guys a link in the description. And then, of course, you connect your wallet and then boom, just grab with exactly what it is you need. The spill behind this coin is, of course, is generating passive income. So really what it is, is that they have this very low supply, but they have this networking platform where money is serving you. So you guys can see it's, it's live on Flues, Sushi Swap. They've been giving a lot more news over on the XRPL. So really looking forward to it, guys. Be sure that you guys get in tune. I love to see stuff like this, folks, really up 88% for our community. So here's the big thing. Here's the main piece news I want to really, you know, talk with you guys about. All right. It's Hedera recently joining the UK Crypto Asset Business Council. HBAR price 
sees this minor impact. The big part you guys have to understand is if HBAR is really focusing on policymakers, governments, well, let's pay attention to what the actual governments are doing. This is fresh off the press. Today, you can see that the European Parliament has approved new anti-money laundering legislation impacting crypto transactions. Again, if you're new to this channel, we're really about looking into the future. How are we going to have mass adoption for crypto versus just all this price action? You know, you might have just gotten crypto last week. You're trying to find the best crypto and, you know, you really just want to make some gains and all that. Our channel is here to make sure that you understand how DLT, this technology, is going to be here for decades. Look at this for yourselves, folks. Most people are really asking the question, this ban now, on anonymous payments. That's the thing with those privacy coins. You see here there's been concerns that heightened surveillance of financial transactions in the EU could facilitate malicious act activities by hackers and of course encroach on individual freedoms so crypto community members are raising the questions and concerns regarding the scope on anonymous payments i'll be leaving you guys a link in the description so you can understand a little bit more about this but again they're making sure you have to really see all this for yourselves okay clearly these government policymakers and institutions see that crypto is here to stay and they're making sure the legislation is put in place but the big thing you want to make pay attention to is exactly how the these, who, what technology is going to be used in the future? Hadera Hashgraph, the trailblazer in the crypto space, sustainable, enterprise level, Hadera Hashgraph, public network, catering to the decentralized economy. It's public. Well, they now are a member of the UK Crypto Asset Business Council. Strategic move aimed at furthering the influence of the Hedera platform in the crypto space while also responding to the market and making developments to it. So guys, seriously, I want you all to get bullish. If you're kind of new to this, well, what is Hashgraph? Why should I care about Hedera? Look at this. Hashgraph is different from blockchain, okay? Look at the pros and cons of Hashgraph. I mean, several advantages. It's faster, more secure. It proves in scalability. Transaction speed is much faster because of the data structure. You could process up to 10,000 transactions per second, and it's also more secure. The algorithm is resistant to attack and manipulation. Of course, there's some cons here. You have to use more resources. You need more storage, more bandwidth. But also here, guys, uh, they're also saying that it's not really feasible for, of course, mainstream applications. So I want you guys to really see this. I know we're getting a little deep, but I want you guys to see this for yourselves that T-Mobile, Google, Hitachi, Boeing, how they're going to be governing this. It isn't going to be on an extreme complex level, but clearly their name is up front. So it, it just really all brings it full circle to where you understand that an ecosystem, a, a coin, a token, an ecosystem truly that focuses on governance will be here for the long term. We need you guys to be safe with your crypto. Store all of your crypto on what's called a decent wallet. You see this here? It's the most easy and safe hardware wallet that you can use for yourself. Get all of your crypto off of the exchanges and off of your phone and start taking the security of your crypto seriously. You guys can see there's a few different options I have here. You guys have the all-in-one card wallet. If you you know, it supports about 20 plus EVM, uh, EVM networks and whatnot. But also the one that you really want to get in tune with is this. This is the full biometric wallet unit that allows you to keep all of your crypto off of the exchanges and off of the phone. You can see it's very simple to use, very easy. I was where you were. You're kind of new to crypto, keeping everything on your phone and exchanges. This is cold storage, basically allowing you to keep all of those cryptos offline okay keep all your keys and everything offline biometric security so again guys when you start taking the security of your crypto seriously head back on over to our link and save yourself some money you guys can see right here hbar is supported free shipping for us uk eu and japanese listeners guys definitely take heed while free shipping is available seriously overall when it comes down to it i am absolutely impressed with hedera there's so rare that you can find a asset that's so easy to explain to no coiners if you really think about it for yourself with a total supply of about 50 billion only 67 percent is in circulation they haven't completed their governance council yet you're very early to the party and seriously if you have people that are close to you and you want to introduce them to hedera they most likely know something about google if not boeing if not lg ib Hitachi or Google they most likely know them folks the world leading organizations but with that being said guys I appreciate you making it to this part of the video if you really enjoyed it be sure that you subscribe to our channel drop a like of course and as well let us know in the comments how you've been feeling about HBAR and Live Capital and just crypto in general drop some love but with that being said folks I'll holler at you later peace